September is National Cholesterol Education Month. So what is good cholesterol and bad cholesterol and what does it all mean for your heart health? Our medical contributor, Dr. Okachika Lozi with Sunset West Health is here to explain. All right, first of all, Doc, what is cholesterol? It's hard to explain if you've never really seen it, but it's a waxy sort of substance and it's used in a lot of things. The closest thing that I tell students sometimes is, you know when you have like these little things in your nose and you squeeze them out? That's the closest thing to cholesterol. It's I mean, you can take, take a look at our little graphic here. We have what we call the <laughs> cholesterol monster, courtesy of the CDC. Exactly. So it kind of looks like that. I mean, not really, but, yeah, but, but it kind of like it's, that. It's um, waxy, kind of creamy, yellowish. But what's important is that cholesterol is actually needed by the body to actually produce the linings of cells. It actually helps digest other things like cholesterol and hormones, right? So it's important. The other thing is that you actually make enough cholesterol on your own. However, our diets also give us cholesterol, whether it's egg yolks or fatty meats as well. All right, so how old does someone need to be to be screened for high cholesterol? Yeah, so for me, I don't necessarily think there's an age. It's all about what is your health condition. I'd say at the very least, once you get into your early 20s, 20 and above, you should probably check it every five years. Like someone like I or yourself, my mom that's over there, <laughs> I mean, we probably get it done every year or two on our yearly health physicals. And I think, again, it depends on your health status. Have a conversation with your physician about what's best for you. And you know, getting tested for cholesterol is not a big deal. It's, it's a blood test, but what does that test determine? It's a blood test. So there is a, what's called a lipid panel. And within that panel, there are really three or four things that we look at. What's your total cholesterol, right? What's your bad cholesterol or the LDL? What's your good cholesterol, which is HDL, and then triglycerides. The one that we really look at in the medical community is your LDL and your HDL. We also look at total cholesterol, but those are the two numbers that you and your physician will really have to figure out what's best for you and how to get it to the right number if it's too high. All right, talk about the risk factors for high blood cholesterol. Yeah, I think a big thing is diet, right? So there are things that you can fix and there are things that you can't fix. I can't fix the fact that I'm aging, right? I don't have a time machine that takes me back. I can't fix the fact that I'm male. Those are two big risk factors. But how you eat can definitely affect your cholesterol, right? And the other thing about it is smoking and your weight. And we've talked about weight a number of times. Now, again, you may have a family history, and again, you can't fix that, but you can change that by how your diet is and the interaction you have with your physician, you may need some medications. And speaking of my family history of heart disease and the fact I had a triple bypass nearly 25 years ago, I still take medicine to keep my cholesterol Absolutely. in check, but besides medicine, if necessary, of mm -hmm. course, what are the other things people need to do to kind of keep their cholesterol in check? I think the biggest thing is diet, right? We talk about exercise and it's not as if exercise isn't important, but how you eat is probably 60 to 70% of that. Try to avoid fatty meats, lean meats, fish, chicken. Exercise is huge, right? And then of course we talk about smoking. You don't wanna smoke. And I think that's really, if you need to take medications like you do, like I have before, then take the medications. Help keep that cholesterol and your bad LDL down because that can affect your heart health and that can give you a longer life overall. ABC 7 medical contributor, Dr. Okachika Lozi, as always, thank you so much. Thank you, sir.